Hey and welcome to another tutorial about movie making and games. This time it's going to be about image. I made a little clip on YouTube about image and yeah, a lot of guys PM me about it and wants to know what it exactly is and where they can download it. So uh, I'll show you now. But before we go into the tutorial, uh, I want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel. It uh, really means a lot to me. Uh, even though I didn't release a lot of uh, tutorials lately, I still uh, got some subscribers. Not a lot, but for me, it's a lot. So, uh, yeah, thank you for that. So, enough with the ass licking. Let's get into the tutorial. Uh, first, you go through this site. The link's in the sidebar again, as always. And, yeah, it's already a tutorial, but I'm gonna translate it with my voice. So. Yeah, because a lot of people can't read, obviously. Um, to do this shit, I'm just going to delete it and create a new one. Uh, you're going to create a new map anywhere you like on your computer, as long as you can open it and call it image-et. Open it. Go to your program files, uh, Wolfenstein movie et your movie ET folder and well before I start you need to in your image we just created this folder if you remember create a map and call it ED Pro and uh, ET main by the way everything is um, written down here so if you feel like yeah not listening to me you can just read it right here but some people just like me talking I'm so sexy. Um, open up your ET main. Do the same thing for your Wolfenstein folder. ET main, and you should copy some files. These files. ET main. Those things. While well, they're here. U underscore MP. Your C game. Dot underscore MP. Your packs and your MP bin. Dot PK3. Copy them into your image folder. Your ET main image. And meanwhile, we'll go back to your movie ET, ET Pro, and from your ET Pro, you need these three files your C game, your UMP, and your ET Pro.pk3 file. Copy them again, go to your image folder, ET Pro, and copy it in there. And also create a map called demos, because we're gonna put our demos in ET Pro to let them run. Um, put in your et.x as well, just into the main folder, not into any mod. Okay, when that's done, you should have something like this. F six files. Also, copy your um, convicts, your movie convicts and binds, whatever. I have millions of them for every map. But uh, you should copy them into your uh, image folder as well so don't forget that and the maps don't forget the maps as well otherwise you can't watch the demo so don't forget that shit I'm not gonna put them in right now because I know how it works um, so download the program there's a download button right here then you should uh, get this three files open your image folder again just drag them in and that's how you set up your image and I'll show you in game now how to let it roll okay welcome in my ET uh, just want to show you that I um, imported my demos into my demo folder and I um, imported my convicts and my maps into my ET main folder don't forget that um, so in ET you want to load your ET Pro and your demo and meanwhile I'll show you my notepad uh, I have some commands written in here there are a lot of more commands uh, that you can use or see fars in um, in your image uh, you can read them here in the in the text guide but I mainly want to talk about those uh, four things they're the most important and the other shit um, is just for adjusting it and fine-tuning it like how much depth of field do you want to have do you want it like epic big or just a little bit because your computer sucks 
Uh, do you want to have a lot of motion blur or just a little bit? If you want to tweak um, things, you should look into this. I'm not going to talk about it because it's a lot and I don't know what your preferences are. If you want to have a lot or a little bit. So yeah, if you want to know more, just read this. And I'm going to talk about how to use it, how to enable it. So I loaded my demo. Um, but I'm running in small screen, by the way, you shouldn't do that everything should be normal just your movie config as always um, as you see I don't have that right now but I'm gonna talk about the commands normally if you use CL underscore AV demo uh, you should put it on like 100 or 30 whatever your your normal AV demo is with this program you shouldn't use that or you can't use that if you put it on 1 or on 0 well you can put it on 200 but it's the same as 1 and 0 um, CL AV, AV demo uh, just indicates when it starts recording and stops recording so it doesn't indicate how much uh, or how much frames per second it's going to record that's uh, IMG, oh, IMG underscore capture FPS uh, indicates how much screenshots you want to make per second and um, because you're adding motion blur and depth of field to your screenshots uh, don't overdo it don't go uh, very high on the on the frame rate uh, normally put it on 30 for normal PCs but if you have a good PC you can you can go higher but you should really watch it don't go for a thousand and shit just uh, keep it below 100 um, so image underscore capture FPS I'm gonna put it on 30 did I write yeah I write it good and I'm gonna enable my motion blur image underscore motion blur one so as you can see it it puts the motion blur into the into the game in real time so you're gonna start lagging so maybe you want to make a convict like um, when you push a button your motion blur and your depth of field will be enabled because when I turn on my depth of field it's really uh, going epicness slow um, of field one then it's almost impossible to um, yeah, to look through the demo for your frag. So uh, make a config that turns uh, this shit on and make a config that it turns it off. So you can look through the demo without having epic lag. So I'm going to turn it off. No, I'm going to leave it on. doesn't matter. So if you want to start recording now, you're not going to put CL underscore AV demo 30 as you would normally do or 100. You're just going to put CL AV demo one and that indicates that it starts recording and as you can see it gives you a message right now FPS 30 resolution and it's gonna tell you where it's gonna save the screenshots as well it's pretty nice it's gonna create a whole new map for every scene that you're recording that's also a nice feature about it um, so mainly yeah, that's how you should do it how you um, record with motion blur and depth of field um, yeah, if you want to fine-tune everything, maybe you want more motion blur or more depth of field. As I said, you should look through the site and um, look for some, yeah, some tips how you should improve it. And for the high skillers, the guys who want more, more, and more, um, you can do off-screen rendering and high-definition rendering, whatever. Um, also read this. I'm not. I'm not going into the advanced stuff. You should. You can read it. It's a tutorial, so it shouldn't be hard. You can PM me though if you really don't understand something. You can post at the site. I want to show you my site as well. A lot of people don't know it. It's called team-mindhunters.com, and there's a forum. And if you have any problems or any questions related to movie making or not movie making you can post all your questions at the site and I'll answer them so don't worry and I hope this tutorial helped you big shout out to Met Scientist for creating the program it really rocks and uh, shout out to you guys for subscribing keep it up enjoy